Hello photographers. In this video, I want to talk about using your flash on camera because some of you will want to use your flash on camera, but in this series here, I'm not actually going to spend much time talking about using it on camera. Instead, I'll be focusing on using your flash off camera because that is a much more versatile way to use it. The biggest reason photographers want to use the flash on camera is to get better photos in low light situations. What most people think is this. If I get a flash and I put it on my camera, then I won't get these slow shutter speeds and all of these crappy motion blurry photos when I shoot in low light. But then when you put your flash on the camera and you start taking pictures in low light, the flash fires, but you still end up with crappy blurry photos with long slow shutter speeds. The reason this happens is because of how you're shooting and how how you have to think about flash photography. See, when you're shooting with a flash, you're always shooting with two different light sources. The first is the ambient light, which could be the sun or the lights in the room that you're shooting in, like my studio lights. The second light source is the flash, and these two light sources are different kinds of light. The ambient light is a continuous light source, meaning that the light is always on and always being recorded the entire time you take a photo. While the flash is an instantaneous light source, meaning that the light flashes very brightly for a very brief moment. How long the flash bursts varies, but it's usually something like 1 8,000th of a second. What that means is that if the shutter speed is set to something like 1 10th of a second, the flash fires on and off long before the camera finishes capturing all of the ambient light. So when you mix these two different kinds of lights together, you have to set your settings on your camera differently if you want the flash to do what most people think it should do. And that is to allow you to shoot in low light, but use fast enough shutter speeds to get a sharp photo. If you just throw your flash on the camera and then do everything like you normally do, when you're shooting in low light, you'll still get those long, slow shutter speeds and all the crappy blurry photos that comes with them. This is because the camera treats the flash as what's called a fill light when you want the flash to be the main light. In any lighting situation, the main light is the dominant light source in the scene, and the main light is always given priority in the exposure settings. The fill light is treated as a secondary light that is meant to add a little bit of light in the scene to fill in the shadows. So if the ambient light is being treated as the main light in the shot, then the camera is going to use that long, slow shutter speed to expose the ambient light correctly, which would read at zero on your exposure indicator. If you want to use the flash as the main light and use your ambient light as fill, then you have to set the settings on the camera to do that. Fortunately, doing this is actually very simple. If you're shooting in manual mode, all you do is set your exposure settings so that your exposure indicator reads in the negative, underexposing the ambient light. How underexposed the ambient light is will depend on the shot you're taking, but regardless of the exposure reading, you want to make sure that your shutter speed is fast enough to give you a sharp photo. Generally speaking, that would be at least 1 50th of a second, or if you're using a longer focal length, you would use the reciprocal rule to choose your shutter speed. Now, if you're shooting in a priority mode, such as aperture priority or shutter priority, you would use your exposure compensation to underexpose the ambient light and set it as fill. And if you're shooting in a priority mode, you'll still need to check your shutter speed to make sure it's fast enough to give you a sharp photo. Once you've set your settings for the main light, you can now set your flash. If you're using a manual flash, like the Nuir TT560 or the Yongnuo YN563, you will need to set the flash power to be as bright as you want it to be for the photo. This will likely require a few test shots at different power levels until you find the power setting that works best for the photo you're trying to take. But if you have a TTL flash, you can use the flash's TTL function to let the camera and the flash work together to set the power level for you. And often the TTL will do a fine job of exposing the scene the way you want it, but if you find that it doesn't, then just put the flash into manual and set the power level yourself. So that's the basics of how you use your flash on camera, but if you want to learn all about how this works, including examples of how to creatively use your flash on camera, check out my Understanding Flash Photography video course, which will show you all of that, plus go in-depth into shooting off-camera flash and a whole bunch more. And if you have any questions about flash photography on camera or off, let me know down in the comments, and then do me a favor, would you like this video and subscribe to my channel? If you really like this video, share it with your friends, but the most important thing you need to do is whether it's on camera or off, get out there and take some damn photos.